There's this person on TikTok from the UK and eats this delectable English trifle. It looks amazing and I need to recreate it here in the States. It's supposed to have a layer of jelly, which I think it's jello, custard, cake, and whipped cream. Almost everything is made from scratch except the jello. Let's make it together. The ingredients list will be in the description box below. First, we're going to macerate some strawberries. Look at this one with the long stem. It's so cute. I think this is about a pound of strawberries. Sprinkle about one to two tablespoons of sugar. Mix and set aside. Strawberry Jello, J-E-L-L-O. I don't want my measuring cup to crack when I add boiling water, so I'm going to run it through some hot water. The direction says to add jello powder to one cup of boiling water. Stir for two minutes or until all the powder is incorporated. Add one cup of cold water and stir. Add the macerated strawberries to the jello. Ladle the jello mixture into a bowl. I'm using one big bowl and one small bowl for the trifle. I still have some jello left, so I'll put them in these small containers as well. These need to be refrigerated for at least four hours. Let's make the chiffon cake. This recipe is from Chow Hound. I just recently discovered that they closed their website after 25 years. Such a bummer. I'm glad I saved this recipe. In a small bowl, add 140 grams or one cup of cake flour, one teaspoon or four grams of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix the dry ingredients together and set aside. In a large bowl, add quarter cup or 60 grams of oil, 135 grams or half a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar, 22 grams or two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three large eggs, room temperature. We're going to separate the egg whites from the yolks. Yolks will go in with the wet ingredients and the whites will go in a new clean bowl to be whipped. Whip the egg whites into soft peaks, then sprinkle two tablespoons or 25 grams of sugar. Then continue whipping till stiff peaks. Mix the egg yolk mixture together until it looks light yellow. Add the dry ingredients and mix. Put quarter of the whipped egg whites into the yolk mixture and fold. Add the remaining egg whites and fold. The recipe says to use an 8 inch cake pan, but I'm going to use a 9 by 12 inch pan to have a thin layer of cake. The pan is lined with parchment paper and it's been oiled. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 35 minutes or until a cake tester comes out clean. Do you know what time it is? It's pastry cream time. This recipe is from Le Cordon Bleu. First, we're going to heat 500 grams of milk. To a large bowl, add five egg yolks. I'm going to save the egg whites for an omelet later. 125 grams of sugar. Beat until pale yellow. Add 25 grams of flour, 25 grams of cornstarch. Whisk the ingredients together. This is not in the recipe, but I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Stir in half of the boiling milk into the yolk mixture. Then add the egg yolk mixture into the pot. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk. Return the pot to the stove and heat. Continue stirring until it thickens. The cake is ready. I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes before I remove it out of the pan. I'm going to transfer the pastry cream into another container and let it cool. Cover the cream with plastic wrap and let the wrap touch the cream directly to decrease the formation of film. Once it cools a little, place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. I want to first start with a layer of pastry cream over the strawberry jello. 
briefly measure the container and cake. Add more pastry cream. I thought I had a lot of pastry cream, but I might not have enough for the little trifles. Cover the trifles and refrigerate until it's chilled. Look at the colors! I left it in the fridge overnight so I can eat it tomorrow. For the final step, let's make some whipped cream. To a large mixing bowl, add one cup of whipping cream. I'm also adding a package of Whip It. It's a whipped cream stabilizer so the cream stays stiff and doesn't melt so fast. Whip until right before it reaches stiff peaks. Add one tablespoon of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. Whip until stiff peaks. I'm going to use a piping bag to make it look somewhat pretty because I am so bad at piping. What do you think? Not too shabby, right? Look at all the layers. Try to get all the layers deep down. Oof. That is a big bite. You guys have to try this. This is so good. Until next weekend, guys. Mm. Bye.